وحكم العسكر لا نموتوا شهداء وحكم العسكر لا Since the toppling of the dictator Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, Libya has been a country in chaos. It currently has two parallel governments, the internationally recognized government of national accord in the capital Tripoli and a second government in the east, propped up by the powerful military warlord Khalifa Haftar. Haftar launched a surprise offensive in early April to overthrow the Tripoli government. But it isn't just the threat of a military takeover that's brought these protesters to the streets. It's his international backers. Quite a few people showed up to the square today to make their anger and frustration clear towards foreign governments, particularly towards the French, hence all the yellow vests, as well as towards the Egyptians and the Emiratis for their previous support of Haftar. We don't like them. They, they, they like to kill us. They want to kill us. How did you feel just a few weeks ago when you heard that General Haftar was making a move to take over the city? When, when, when I hear it, I sent my son. <laughs> I sent him. I sent him to stop them. For this, for the, the kids. This is your daughter? Yes. yes. And why are you wearing this? She's wearing this because we want to show to the French people that his government helped Hitler. After I said Hitler, I think he's the same with Hitler. There are hundreds of militias in Libya, but none as powerful as Haftar's self-declared Libyan National Army. Haftar was once a commander in Gaddafi's military. He then spent two decades in the US before returning to Libya in 2011 to help remove his old boss. Now he's convinced his allies that he's a much needed strongman in an unstable region, and that his continuing advance on the capital is a concerted effort to root out terrorists. So far, 50,000 civilians have been displaced by the fighting. 2,000 have been injured, and nearly 400 people have died. Nine-year-old Mohammed bin Mansour's home is in the most densely populated neighborhood in Tripoli. His father was one of 11 people killed when rocket fire from Haftar's forces hit their street. When did you realize that your father hadn't made it? Ah, shifted them. Shifted them. Lata. Tell you, Galuli. The UN has condemned the offensive as a coup. But Haftar's initial gains highlight just how weak the central government actually is. The Prime Minister, Fayez Siraj, toured Europe this week to drum up support and try to get President Macron over to his side. This morning, he published an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, calling on President Trump to help marginalize Haftar. Do you think that your government, which is the official UN-backed government here in Libya, is doing a good job at holding this country together right now? Haftar 
It does seem impressive that Haftar, who is this militia leader, has been able to accumulate so much support from both within the country and from all these foreign governments like the UAE, Egypt, Saudi, France. Doesn't it suggest a general lack of faith in your own government? ويرون خليفة حفتر يقصف كل يوم بصواريخ وطائرات يقصف المدنيين بالطائرات وبالصواريخ كل يوم يعني عشرات المدنيين يسقطون نتيجة دعم هذه الدول فهم لا هم يريدون أن يضعوا خليفة حفتر على رأس الحكم في ليبيا لكي يضمنوا أن لا لا وجود للديمقراطية في ليبيا. But the fight to keep Haftar at bay isn't going great. And the government of National Accord has outsourced a lot of its fighting to militias like the Martyrs Brigade. 36-year-old Nizar al-Mizrati fought in the 2011 revolution, but thought that his days at war were now behind him. There's a sniper here. The battle is hectic, and the front lines are constantly shifting. This small piece of land was lost and then retaken just hours before we arrived. These are their sniper positions and they're trying to take out whoever they can see from these spots. Most of those fighting for the government are not trained soldiers, and it shows. Al Mizrati is a civil engineer by training, but these days he's fighting with the militia full time. How up to date is your weapon and your equipment? Ah, good damn, okay. For example, this is a heavy gun. This is a heavy gun. This is 70s. This is a heavy gun. Oh, that sniper was very close. Yes. This is a heavy gun. All the heavy gun. We, this is our gun. واغلب انا لاحظي انت كلها خفيف. And how much air support do they have? طيران حديد جدا، طيران طياره بدون طيار، ليبيا ما لا تمتلك طياره بدون طيار. ففي سبورت، في دعم من 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 جهات ثانيه، دول ثانيه. Were you expecting to still be fighting in 2019? نهائي، ابدا. لكن طلعت لان اللي جاي هذا دك انسان دكتاتوري. يعني احنا ما خرجنا 2011 باش نطلعوا انسان دكتاتوري باش تجيب لي بعد ثمانية سنين انسان دكتاتوري ثاني. How do you feel about the state of Libya right now? شيء مزري حقيقة يعني إنسان مدني أنا مفروض نشتغل عندي فيوتشر عندي طموحات عندي عندي شيء مش نقاتل في المفترض بي إن الجيش التابع لحكومة يفاق هو اللي دفع وإحنا مدنيين في حالنا. هاون. Whoa, just landed. Hawn. Man, that was close. Oh, whoa! Did you see that? غير باقي هذا واحد ستين كان واحد ثمانية ولا مية وعشرين راهو هناك شفناه. 